guys we are back again welcome back to my channel it's the farmer on fire this is a series of videos i have a guest today his name is jeff and he's an expert you've been doing farming for how long four years man. and he's a millennial and he's been doing it for four years you know how me i'm just here with lipstick and heels trying to tell you farming is cool and then i find a young person who's actually doing it and killing it and making money and helping other people to also grow their investments and their passions yeah so that's what's happening today if you haven't seen the other videos jeff is just giving us the road deal and he's also getting to tap into some of the information that i knew but i thought it's but now he's made it come out you guys understand eh, the power of networking <laughs> anyway so today we are going to discuss pest control most people give up on farming because kuna tumutu tunatosha na hivi that drained their account <laughs> that, that made them left them with the loans they couldn't handle i recently was put down by two tubs of luta my tomatoes just shwa let's start with the basics we are in the middle of a uh, maize that has been crop invested so please start somewhere pest control what is pest control what is pest Pests are okay. They are not microorganisms. They are organisms that uh, that uh, feed on our crops mm -hmm. and they cause a lot of damage. But there are some that are good, right? They are beneficial. Okay, the beneficial ones are the insects. And mm -hmm. pests, they are pests also are insects. Pests insect become pests. a parasite. In yes, a pest is like a, yeah, it's doing more <laughs> harm than good. Okay. So you end up making losses sometimes, yeah. total losses. Yeah. So for you to for you to control pests in any crop yeah. first of all you have to have a like a program mm -hmm. a spray program mm -hmm. you don't have to wait for the pest to appear so that you attack it mm -hmm. just uh, maintain your crop keep mm -hmm. it uh, spray regularly mm -hmm. depending on uh, different crops uh, are, are are liked by different pests yeah. for example maize Nowadays, I'm warm. I think it <laughs> is just online on yes. Facebook. What do I do to my maze? What do I do to my maze? You can yeah. see, Yangu Mindi niya kuchoma na kuchemsha for breakfast. Yeah. It's not for sale. But I'm thinking if I have six acres and then I'm seeing this, you know, I don't need blood pressure and I'm still very young. Yeah, so you have to have a, a regime. Yeah. And uh, also alternate the chemicals that you use. Okay. Because if you use one. Amiwam, which is the best pesticide for that? Amiwam. Am uh, the best uh, chemicals are those that contain uh, emamectin benzoate as the... Whoa, fancy words. Yeah, as the active ingredient. Give us brand an, names. An example <laughs> is Proof or S Proof from oh, Amiran. Proof from Amiran. Yes, I love or proof. Escort from Greenlight. Okay. There are also other products like Kina Belt, mm. and So you can you get belt one now it's going for 1200 they don't make a bigger pack it's just too costly are, are you co going to make money they are costly that's why you should have uh, you should have like three or oh, four you when you do this one this saturday yeah. the next saturday you, know, you do another so by the time you come back to the first one yeah it's like four weeks so you break uh you break the cycle uh, in the past so that uh, the pest does not become resistant. Yeah. You can keep spraying, spraying, and they are not dying. I love you, Zisha Joseph. Yeah. Bring it on. Why am I too funny? Because the aqua sees it to We are here to eat my indeed. Yeah. So when people hear about uh, spraying, they get scared. You know me, I'm an organic farmer. Mm. They get scared and they are like, Who you are not to advise to a kekemiko chakula? We should lynch him. Tell them why they shouldn't lynch you. It's because uh, for. Some pests are very hard to control using organic methods. Yeah. Because organic methods are not, uh, they are just mild, they control. Mm -hmm. But the, for the pests like... Uh, Ira some, Maliza! Something like tuta, mm -hmm. these army worms, you cannot make it using organic methods. Okay. So you have to go, you have to use those uh, chemicals that have uh, maybe a knockdown effect. Yeah. And then uh, when, the, when the populations are low, now you can alternate and use some organic means, mm -hmm. but also observe the PHI. Mm -hmm. because, PHI, mm. 
Post, po, post harvest interval. Okay. Before. Oh yes. yes, very important. Don't if, sell and you've sprayed Jana your tomatoes. That's just yeah. wrong. If you observe that period, yeah, uh, the food is safe. Yes. Because uh, they, they, it's they, safe. They, Tell them even food for export. Yes. As long as you follow those rules. As long as can. you observe the PHI, the chemical when you spray, the chemical breaks down, and uh, gets out. Of, it's excreted out of the plant through. Uh, transpiration and mm -hmm. all those processes. Yeah. So the the plant itself releases. So people the should be informed. They should yes. not just freak out and yes. say chemicals, chemicals, chemicals. Yes. People should be informed. Yes. They look for information on how to empower themselves. Me, I say worry and stress is the biggest killer. It's not agrochemicals. Not that I support agrochemicals, but I say even me, I rarely go to the hospital after I realize food is medicine, and for sure it has worked for me. Uh, but I will not die in at home saying that I'm going to <laughs> look for an organic solution. We are here to do profit making. We are here to be farmers who are making money and who are seeing their harvest. There is no way you're putting all this energy for someone else to come and eat your crops. So if you need to use agrochemicals, use them. Also, there are companies, big companies that do organic based pesticides, right? Yeah. But also there is a catch, yeah. Because those organic, <laughs> they, those organic pesticides eh. are way way expensive. Oh. So in some, at some point, ni kama organic tea. So no one is ama habo tea. Na ni majani ya kawaida. Ika ongezo asiju hibiska sawa ama mint. Alafu they sell a pack of twenty five for two hundred bob. Na ni maj. Anyway, let me stop. Yeah. So if you are in the profit making business, yeah. Uh, it will not be really profitable for you and uh, you might spend a lot yeah and uh, when you do your math and then you're seeing my saga what is happening to my saga this is scouting this is what you should do we have athletes here mm -hmm. that are pillars. yeah so some have the mites okay what do i need to spray so for the mites you can use uh escort es Okay, escort but mixed with romectin. Mm -hmm. uh, romectin, uh, uh, escort will also take care of the caterpillar. Yeah. But for the for the aphids, you can use something like uh, like voltage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nai. For the rust. Mm. This is rust. Yeah, this is rust. Rust. So crops have rust too. Yes. Oh my have god. Rust, mm -hmm. That's what does it mean? What do I do? That's why you advise when you harvest mm -hmm. the crop, mm -hmm. you clear the debris because now if this one stays here, mm -hmm. your whole farm will be rust. Aye. Yeah, so you have to destroy this one. To but me, I use this to make compost. Is it to me or why? Now you can use by the time. In a decompose, it acquire meisha. Yeah, but uh, but mm -hmm. it's also no, it's not only it's not advised advisable to use uh, the cyst plant to make compost because. <gasps> So guys, that was a video about pest control. I know that's a big headache and we are going to delve more into it. So guys, please stay tuned. Share with all those people who have been heartbroken by pests because farming is still very lucrative. Don't give up on farming. You just need to be more informed. And I'm here and I hear you guys. So I'm going to create a lot of content on that. So please stay tuned. Hit the bell icon so that you get notification on similar videos. Thank you guys. Love you. Have a great day.